Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. Welcome to another Stellaris console edition video. This is going to be a shorter video than normal, but I haven't had much time to play in the last week or so, and I wanted to upload at least one video before Christmas. So the situation is, it is the year 2429, and the big news is two fallen empires have awoken, the Bavi Zealots and the Amari Directors, and apparently they are ancient enemies. Unfortunately, one of the things that could set off a fallen empire like the Bavi is if another empire settles on a Gaia planet and the Kelzen, who are part of our Federation, have two Gaia planets in their space and they have already colonized one of them, which makes me nervous. So the two Gaia worlds are in these two systems with the red circles and I've moved most of our fleets into these two systems with the blue circles. I'm not sure we could do anything about it if the Bavi decided to invade, but we would at least try. Here in the Raman system we have a big bunch of ships sitting here, it's only two fleets. Here in the Riador system, we have more fleets, but fewer ships. So I decided to take one of the fleets from the Raman system and move them over to the Riador system. I don't think this would really make much difference, actually, uh, if the Bavi decided to invade, but I've got to try, right? Construction complete. Unsurprisingly, the Bavi have declared the Amari their rival, and the Amari have done the same to the Bavi. So, yeah, not unexpected at all. These are ancient enemies. They don't like each other. On a less disturbing but still disturbing note, the Derp Coalition have entered a migration treaty with the Sacred Cyrilan. As I said before, the Kelzen have already colonized one Gaia planet and risked the wrath of the Bavi, and now they are approaching another Gaia planet. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. We are also settling a planet, but the big news is the Kelzen have settled on another Gaia planet. But meanwhile, we are settling another planet, and as I'm watching this footage, I realized I zoomed in on the wrong planet, so it's not this planet at all. But we are settling on a brand new planet somewhere in the galaxy, and I decided to go ahead and get started on another planet. I'm colonizing very quickly. I don't know if this is uh, a good idea or if this will help me to build up my score. <laughs> I'm just doing it. I'm colonizing a bunch of planets in this video. Planetary surface settlement established. I think this colony actually got started in the last video, but they are now an official colony. So that's good news. And we can take a look at a few things to do on the planet here. We've got some blocked spaces and I feel like getting rid of the active volcano might be a good place to start uh, to make this place livable for our people. But I, like I said, I'm gonna keep colonizing quite a few planets here in this video and so I'm going to already get started on another colony we kind of have two main areas of space. One of them is larger than the other, and I'm trying to keep my colonized worlds uh, as much as possible within the larger area of space. 
and I'm looking for planets that are fairly large and have good potential for energy credits and or mining credits. But we've already got a planet in this system, but it turns out there's another one we could colonize, and I should have done this a long time ago probably in the game. But let's go ahead and get started on a colony on Ryle Somat 4A. But that's not enough, I tell you. Let's keep going. Let's colonize Eskelion 4 while we're at it. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. Our colony ships are being built as quickly as we can, and we're sending them out towards new colonies. And here's another one that's just barely going to get started. But that's still not enough, I tell you. Let's send one. I don't know. What do you think? How about right here? Silev 3 looks like it has potential. Let's go for that. But in the meantime, I'm getting paranoid about this system. I have a few extra star bases I could upgrade. So I'm going to start upgrading the outpost in this system. Construction complete. But never mind all that. Ever since the awakening of the Bavi and their ancient Imari rivals, the two giants have been at odds, skirmishing and jockeying for influence, probing each other's might. This has resulted in a series of increasingly terse confrontations finally erupting in an open battle between a Bavi fleet and their Imari counterparts in a remote system. The conflict has now escalated into full-blown war between the Bavi zealots and the Amari directors. Each side has sent a representative to the younger races promising great rewards for those who join them in their war and terrible punishments for those who choose to stand against them. Choosing either side in this conflict will mean giving up our independence, but remaining neutral may be even more dangerous unless we can find other neutral empires to stand by our side. So we've got four choices here. We could stand with the Bavi Zealots, which really doesn't make much sense from a role-playing point of view. We are machines. They are very uh, spiritualistic. Uh, so I don't think that makes sense from a role-playing standpoint, even though they probably are the stronger of the two fallen empires at this point. We could choose to stand with the Imari directors, even though they probably are not as strong right now as the Bavi. We could not take sides, or we could say, screw both of them, they're both going to fall to our might. So I think, even though this is probably not the smartest thing to do from a, a gameplay standpoint, I think it is, from a role-playing standpoint, it's, it makes most sense to go with the Imari directors, and they are right next door to us anyway. You can see the Bavi have sort of spread out a little bit, and they, they've been awakened longer than the Imari, so they have more space. The Amari have a much smaller amount of space over here, but they are right next to us, and so they would definitely uh, have a bigger impact on us if we turned against them. So, taking a look at our contacts, because I don't know what all of the other empires have chosen to do, it appears that the Bavi Zealots are now at war with the Amari, the Derp Covenant, the Serene Cannabinoids, the Bok Bok, the Derp Coalition, the Pert High Kingdom, and the PlayStation Network. So it looks like the deck is stacked against the Bavi. The Amari are at war only with the Bavi Zealots and the Serene, uh, Sacred Cyriland Confederacy. So we'll see how this turns out. I have to stop it here because, like I said, I haven't had much time to play. 
but this is a good milestone. The two fallen empires, the two awakened empires are now at war. We have chosen sides. And uh, only time will tell how this will turn out. Hopefully it will turn out in our favor. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.